In the early 1930s, an ingenious inventor from the small French town of Secondigny created a groundbreaking vehicle that would challenge traditional transportation concepts. Ulysse Texier de la Caillerie, a multifaceted entrepreneur and mechanical enthusiast, conceived an amphibious car that could seamlessly transition between land and water. The genesis of this invention traces back to 1928 when Texier de la Caillerie first envisioned a vehicle capable of navigating diverse terrains. A former taxi driver and garage owner from Poitiers, he possessed a deep passion for mechanical innovation. By 1932, he had developed a prototype he called La Comet, the Comet, which he personally demonstrated to Colonel Charles de Gaulle. The vehicle's design was remarkably innovative for its time. Featuring a boat-like hull, the car was powered by a modest six-horsepower gasoline engine. Two large diameter wheels mounted on the sides provided mobility, with a small additional wheel at the rear ensuring balance. Steering was accomplished through a unique brake-based mechanism that allowed directional control by manipulating wheel speed. What made La Comet truly revolutionary was its amphibious capability. The wheels were equipped with special rotating paddles enabling smooth water navigation. Initial tests were promising, showcasing the vehicle's ability to traverse challenging landscapes, including marshy terrains where conventional vehicles would struggle. Despite its potential, the French military initially rejected the invention. Military bureaucracy and existing tank doctrine prevented immediate adoption. Colonel de Gaulle showed interest, but the War Department remained unconvinced. Undeterred, Texier de la Caillerie sold the patent to Le Licorne, an automobile manufacturer. The Lycorn Company, collaborating with engineers from the Armored Vehicle Center in Vincennes, further developed the concept. By 1936, they presented an improved amphibious vehicle. The military conducted extensive trials between 1937 to 1938, producing six experimental models. However, Practical limitations such as potential weight increases from armor and armaments, vulnerability of the chassis, and suboptimal design ultimately led to the project's abandonment. Interestingly, no original vehicles survived the occupation period. However, in a remarkable tribute to local innovation, the residents of Second Dainy constructed a full-scale replica of La Comet in 1998, successfully demonstrating the original design's capabilities. Ulysse Texier de la Caillerie's story extends beyond his automotive innovation. A true polymath, he later developed a political movement called Les Quatre Piliers, the Four Pillars, and even ran for presidential elections in 1953. Until his death in 1974, he remained committed to his lifelong motto of seeking to organize and improve human life as much as possible. The tale of La Comet represents more than just an automotive experiment. It embodies the spirit of French innovation, individual persistence, and the complex relationship between technological invention and institutional acceptance.